New at five, a former Phoenix police officer is accused of scamming the federal government out of more than a million dollars. The police department says officer Tony Richardson quit before they could fire her in light of a federal indictment that was filed late last month. Team 12's William Pitts has more on the allegations and where the money went. The feds say Tony Richardson applied for more than a million dollars in PPP money to help a business that ended up having no operating budget and no employees. $1.2 million. That's how much the feds say former Phoenix cop Tony Richardson needed to keep her business afloat during the pandemic. Except the FBI says her business never had any employees until she applied for the money. The business is called the Lotto Club. That's listed with the state as a veterans charity. The two owners, Tony Richardson, who was a Phoenix cop, and Blue Mitchell. According to court documents, Richardson got a PPP loan for $1,276,500. Records show the Lotto Group has been around since 2015, but never paid any payroll. Then the indictment says right before they got the money, they had 85 employees. When they got the money, they had five. The FBI says the money went to businesses controlled by Mitchell and Richardson, as well as personal accounts, including 20 grand to a company called TLR Housing, which traces back to this house in North Phoenix. According to the state, it's a residential treatment facility, but does not have a license. Richardson was arrested and resigned from the Phoenix Police Department. Her co-defendant, Blue Mitchell, runs a nonprofit called Sigma Cuts. The website says it offers apprenticeships, housing, and meals in multiple states. Mitchell was arrested in Fort Worth, Texas. Neither could be reached for comment. Court documents show the feds not only want Richardson and Mitchell in jail, they want the money back. The indictment says they plan to take the remaining cash and seize whatever property it was spent on. William Pitts, 12 News.